Hey guys, I'm Racing Juvieside, and I got a video for you guys today, and it's a track guide for Richmond. And if you're wondering why it took so long, well, I was waiting on a new build to be released by iRacing, which gives us dynamic track surfaces. I'll put another video up later about the, talking about that, pretty much after this. <laughs> Anyways, what changes with the dynamic tracks? Well, over the course of a run, well, it'll be dynamic, it'll change. It'll go from a green racetrack, which is what this video was recorded on, to a really marbled up racetrack, which doesn't really upset the car as much as you would think it would. But yeah, it does, uh, it does mess with that. You gotta really, uh, it'll take quite a few laps to clean a lane off, because I tried that earlier, so. Yeah, anyways, let's get to this track, guy, because I don't have much time. So, yeah. If you can, you can also tell that the car kind of looks a little bit better. With different shaders that we got, so that's uh, I think this is the start of the lap now. Let me check. Okay, that wasn't it. Anyways, I got a twenty point seven one five because that's the best I'm gonna do. So let's do this. By the way, I'm back to thirty FPS because I didn't really care for sixty last week. So let's just do this. I'll shut up. You can watch the lap. So that was a relatively quick lap. Let me back it up. The fastest time I saw so far was a 6. And that was just in a practice I was in. Could have been anything, so... 28.175... Or 715. 20.715 is the best I'm gonna do. This is fakes. Remember that. 12 to 1 steering ratio. Everything else... Everything's default with the setup. So we'll just go ahead and get into this. So... All the practice I was in, people were using actually the second groove up, but I'm here at the bottom since it's a green racetrack, and this is all my track guys are going to be on. From now on, it's a green racetrack, because there's no way I can just keep adapting over and over to how my car is driving, you know, to uh, do a guide, you know, just for a lap. But anyways, get to it. We're going into one here. You'll see the light there. Well, I guess apparently I was afraid to go that far. <laughs> Let me see if I can find a better angle of this. Nope. Everything's right above you. Where is it? Oh, can you see this light? You can barely see it. I'm circling it. I'm getting on the brakes pretty hard. And with this setup, it gets real loose getting in. So. Hell, I can't even explain this. There we go. Look for this yellow tint here on the right. I'm breaking right at that. So right here. Breaking hard. And be careful because it wants to get real loose. So I'll just drive it to the bottom. Let it roll. See so it release the brake. Pretty much as you're passing the pit exit wall. So worried right about here. I'm letting off completely. Actually where the pit out line is here. I'm off the brakes, letting it roll. And I get back on the throttle the second I reach the way bottom. So right around this Emerson, SunTrust, and Goodyear area. It's so right here. Hard on the gas. And you want to keep it low and make it as straight as possible. Coming off because there's a bump and you all want to get real loose coming off of it. Right about here. <laughs> so you want to be as straight as possible coming off there. Going into three. You can see where this white area is between the shaded part of the track. So the shade here, or a shadow here, and a shadow here, and no shadow here. And that's where I'm breaking. So I'll slow it down, breaking hard right here. Or actually, if you want to use where the safer barrier starts to come out, that's where I'm hard on the brakes. So I'll rate it completely on the brakes right here. Letting off, turning down again to the bottom, and I release the brake. Probably at the end of this blue wall here. So, still on the brakes. Still on the brakes, and right as I'm past that blue wall, what happens? I'm completely off, way against the bottom line. And again, just like turn one and two, get a run. 
using the SunTrust logo on the side here. Get around, coming off the corner. Again, as straight as possible because it just wants to get real loose. Going to the middle part here. Going to the line. And there you go. That's all there is, really. And if I sound different, it's because I'm using a different mic. Brand new. And I'm using uh, Audacity now to record my audio because something was wrong with OBS. And OBS doesn't work with the new build of iRacing right now, so I gotta figure that out. Anyways, this has been Tim Racing Chewy Side. See you on the track. Yeah.